question number 3 of this exercise says that a toy is in the form of a cone of radius 3.5 cm which is mounted on a hemisphere of the same radius. The total height of the toy is 15.5 cm. We have to find the total surface area of the toy. So let's first draw how the toy would look like. So this is how the toy will be. Wherein we see that we have a cone which is mounted on a hemisphere and they both have got the same radius. The radius for both that is for cone and the hemisphere is 3.5 centimeters. Now also what they have given us is the total height of the toy which is the combination of the hemisphere and the cone. So to find the height of the cone which is this part what we can do is we can subtract 3.5 centimeters from 15.5 centimeters so on doing that we get the height of the cone to be equal to 12 centimeters because 15.5 centimeters minus 3.5 centimeters will give us 12 centimeters now in the question they have asked us to find the total surface area of the toy. Now the total surface area of the toy can be found by adding the curved surface area of hemisphere which is the bottom part plus the curved surface area of the cone which is mounted on to the hemisphere. Now the formula to find the curved surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square and the formula to find the curved surface area of the cone is pi r l. We are using r as the same notation for both the cone and the hemisphere because the radius for both of them is same. Now l represents the slant height of the cone which is this which we do not know. So now our objective is to first find the slant height. Now the slant height L can be found by making use of the formula that L equals h square plus r square. And that is because we can see that this is 90 degrees. This part is the radius. The vertical straight part is the height. And by making use of Pythagoras theorem, we can say that the length, the slant, the length of the slant height will be equal to the square root of h square plus r square. So now let's substitute the values to find the slant height. In place of h square, we can write 12 square, which is 144. And in place of r square, we can write 3.5, the whole square. Now 3.5 the whole square is 12.25 and which one added to 144 will give us 156.25. The square root of 156.25 is nothing but 12.5 and that is the slant height of the cone. Now we can substitute all of these values back into the formula that we have got to find the total surface area of the toy. And in here what we can see is pi r is common to both the terms. So we can take that out. We are left with 2r plus l inside the brackets. Let's substitute the values. 22 by 7 times 3.5 which is multiplied to 2 times r that is 3.5 times 2 plus l is 12.5 as we have calculated. Now we can cancel this out as we get 3.5 as a multiple of 7. So we get 0.5 here. Now 0 0.5 when multiplied to 22 will give us 11 which is multiplied to 3.5 times 2 which is 7 added to 12.5. That gives us 11 times 19.5 
and the multiplication of these two numbers gives us the product as 214.5 so the total surface area of the toy will be 214.5 cm square and this is how we solve this question to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers